Hey everyone, I'm Greg. Welcome to another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. I want to talk to you about using blocking panels at intermediate bearings. Let's take a look at how to do this properly. The B4 and B1 details enable you to transfer the load around the TGI floor joist and into the bearing support below. This detail is intended to help prevent the TGI joist from crushing, which can result in structural failures. You'll need to use these details in situations where there is direct load from above. The load coming down needs to transfer through the blocks and into the bearing wall or foundation below. Both the B4 and B1 details show us how to install blocking between the floor joists at an intermediate bearing wall. These first two blocks demonstrate the B4 detail, where two joists butt together over a bearing. Then we step right into the B1 detail, which is exactly the same as the B4 detail, except that the TGI joists run continuously over the bearing. Okay, let's take a look at how to install blocking panels properly. To fasten the blocks, simply nail through the top flange of the TGI joist into the top flange of the block. The last step is to nail the bottom flange of the block into the intermediate bearing with two 8D nails. It's extremely important to install blocking for proper load transfer and structural integrity. As you can see, it's easy to install blocking panels for intermediate bearings. These intermediate bearings are critical to help ensure that the floor is built properly and is structurally sound. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of Trust Joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you can find online at trustjoist.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is also available online or from your local representative.